Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And if it didn't even start yet, y'all have this ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Dirty cop. Matthew Farwell. Protected by other dirty cops. And let me let, let me stop it right there and let me and let me say this, man. Um it's expected. My whole thing about quote unquote the good cop or not all cops are bad cops. When it comes to situations like this, where are the good cops? The good cops should have damn snatched his his ass up and threw his ass in jail. This man got allegedly, allegedly, from my understanding of the article, got a 15-year-old girl pregnant. The girl was about to tell on him, and he decides to delete her. Now, let me say this. At 15, it's not an age of consent, right? I don't know if it was a situation of him like forcing her and, and him holding her down doing that, or if it was a situation of her trying to, you know what I mean, uh, uh, like allowing him, quote unquote, because remember, at 15, you can't really give consent. But I don't know if it was a situation of her giving consent to him or was it a situation where he just popped up, kidnapped her. We, I don't know. So let, let, let's let's continue, man. Uh, dirty cop, Matthew Farwell, protected by other dirty cops, finally brought to justice. Investigation had to become federal because M.A. law enforcement can't be trusted. That's a goddamn shame. That's a goddamn that it had to get this damn big. Goddamn shame. Let, let's let's hear this, y'all, because I, I have to hear this. Stunning allegations out of Stoughton led to the arrest of former police officer Matthew Farwell Wednesday, now facing federal charges that could put him on death row. It's, it erodes the very trust and fabric of the community and policing that we have in the area and the region. Security analyst and former Boston Police Chief Dan Linsky called this a blow to law enforcement all across New England. Yeah, in this case, it wasn't a bad apple. It looks like it was a bunch of bad apples. And two years ago, Stoughton Police found that Farwell, his co-worker and brother William, alongside former Deputy Chief Robert Devine, all had inappropriate contact with Birchmore. Farwell is now charged with killing a witness or victim after years of allegations. There's been investigation into the abuse of this girl since she was 15 years old by several members of the Stoughton Police Department. And so she could uh, be char characterized as a witness in that investigation of the abuse part. Attorney Philip Tracy. So let me let me let me hold on. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back to read this. Because I thought it was just one police officer, but apparently it was multiple. There's been investigation into the abuse of the girl since she was 15 years old by several members of the Staunton Police Department. Several. I'm thinking it was just one. That poor little girl, man. That they, uh, if I remember, I put I put the article in the description, uh, because I I was able to save it. Again, the little girl was about to tell on him. The little girl got scared. She's fifteen. She's scared. First of all, she's over here doing something something that apparently wasn't supposed to be happening because you have multiple grown ass men taking turns on this little ass girl like like it's a the little girl got got pregnant got scared and did the first thing a lot of little girls do when they get scared which is tell their parents the damn cop didn't like that no i can't have it i can't have you running around telling people that i did abc one two three to you no what no you can't you're gonna ruin my career you're going to ruin my, assuming he's married, you're going to ruin my marriage. Sir, why you wasn't thinking about that prior to you abusing that little ass 15 year old girl? And then as a result of that, you decide to delete her. You decide to take her own life. 
and then other police officers in that damn department tried to cover it up and cover for him. Let's keep going, man. I, it, it just it just really, really kills me and it pisses me off because these types of things is going to continue to happen from the police officers and you're going to have these damn bootlickers that's constantly running around. Oh, but not all cops, but not all cops. Every damn police officer, because I guarantee you other police officers heard about this. This wasn't no, oh, like one and done type situation. They said that they was abusing her multiple times, multiple times by multiple officers. I'm sure other other cops that either wasn't involved or didn't know or anything, anything like that heard something like uh, of that sort. What the other quote unquote good cops, if there were any in the damn police department, should have done through cuffs on his ass, hog, hog tied him, honestly. Hog tied his ass up and threw his ass in a goddamn prison. Skip the damn trial. Skip the court. That's what what that that's what a good cop would have done. Let's keep going, man. It's it's just it's just disgusting. That investigation of the abuse part. Attorney Philip Tracy said with all similar federal charges, the death sentence for Farwell, if convicted, is possible, but ultimately up to Washington to decide if they'll pursue. With the idea of abusing and using the child and then killing her while pregnant, I think you could make a case that this is a death penalty case. But that decision Perhaps. will have to wait for some time. Linsky assured us there will, however, be changes statewide to how departments are run and who's left to oversee their power. They always say this. Oh, there's going to be changes made. There's going to be additional trainings uh, being sent out. None. Y'all been saying this stuff since uh, since the since you were able to record on your phone. Since you were able to record on your phone, these types of things is nothing new. This hasn't just been uh, a thing of police officers within the last five to ten years abusing women. Uh, killing people and all this other thing. Man, this stuff has been going. My grandmother used to tell me about the guy, and my grandmother's in her damn 80s. My grandmother used to tell me about how, how, how what the damn police and how she's grew up seeing all this, that, and the third. Come on, man. I had a neighbor. Uh, I'll repeat Miss Tootsie, man. I'll repeat Miss Tootsie. I had a neighbor. This lady had to be in her late 80s, early 90s. She told me about how when she was younger, a damn police and a group of Caucasian men came all because her brother allegedly stole some candy out of a goddamn store. Um, she told me about how her, uh, if I'm not mistaken, her two brothers got snatched out of our house by by goddamn police, beaten and killed right in front of her. These are stories that's been happening involving police for decades. And decades, decades before her, again, R.I.P. Miss Pussy. But that that was one of my neighbors back when I was living in them in, in Shadowside, telling me about that. Yeah, I was. What did she say? Yeah, I was a child when I, I remember uh, hearing hearing my brother screaming in the night, and I just seen the police and da 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 da, and they just dragged them and they just beat them and kept beating them. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, Hey, bro, there's no way in hell I'll be able to be mentally. Uh, able to bounce back from seeing something like that. This has been going on. The social media, the internet, everybody thinking, oh, oh, this is just making the police go crazy. No, th what the social media did, what the internet did was expose these damn cops and how sick in the mind that they are. Let's keep going. In New England, every officer across the country is going to have to work harder at reestablishing that trust. And Winsky also assured me that investigators at this point are still combing through decade worth of evidence in this case and into the allegations that also involve Farwell and those two other Stoughton police officers. As I mentioned again, charges could be coming down the line. So sad. So sad, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I really hope that the audio was, was loud enough, y'all, man. But unfortunately, y'all know how it is. If if you if you raise uh, I'm trying to find a picture of of, of, of the little girl, if, if you raise the audio up more, it distorts the audio and it, it just makes it completely unclear. So I'd rather just leave it like uh, there she is. I'd rather just like leave it low and then hope hope that you guys can hear, you know, um hear hear, hear the audio. So sad. All right, pizza, this young lady. And I hope this cop and the other cops involved gets the death penalty. I hope and pray.
This stuff is not brand new. Social media hasn't showed or painted this negative picture of no, it's exposing these damn cops, man. That's all it's doing. That's all it's been doing. I told y'all I was damn in what? Uh oh, only one, I don't even know. Seventh grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. There was a group of middle school uh kids that was crowding around. Y'all know how they do when they ways to fight. Um and stuff like that. There was a fight going on. And, you know, we in middle school, we crowded around everybody fighting, whatever, whatever, whatever. All we hear is the damn sirens from the damn police. Everybody runs. I don't run because I'm like, I wasn't fighting. What the hell I'm running for? I'm not running. Cop runs up to me. Oh, what happened? Da, 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 da. Well, whatever. Who's fighting? Who's fighting? Who's fighting? Give me their names. I don't know their names. Where do they live? Because who's in the complex? Where do they live? I don't know where they live. It's just a group of kids that was goddamn fighting. How, how the hell I'm supposed to know? And then I took a damn knife stick and hit me in the damn stomach with it. I was like, the hell you hit me for? I'm confused. Again, seventh, seventh, eighth grade. I'm confused as hell. The hell this man hit me for? I don't I don't know who was fighting. I don't know their name. I don't know every damn child in this big ass complex. We in the hood. I don't know this every damn child's name. I don't know what all these damn kids. We got off the school bus. I'm I'm like the last one to get off because I, I was sitting in the back. Uh one of the damn last people to get off. I'm over here trying to rush this so I can see the goddamn fight. By the time I get to the damn see the fight, whoop, whoop. Oh, okay. Everybody taking off running. I'm looking around like what the hell y'all what, what y'all running for? I'm not. I'm gonna run. I wasn't in the fight. These types of stupid ass abuses that come from these damn cops all the time, often. Abuses of power. Y'all see what's going on with Tyreek Hill. I, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna do a video on that or not. I don't know. But y'all see what happened with Tyreek Hill. How quick they escalate these simple ass, first of all, a traffic infraction. Give me my ticket so I can go. Something is so damn simple. But all y'all want to do is constantly argue. Oh, not all cops, not all cops, not all cops. I'm not saying all cops are bad. It's not what the hell I'm saying. But what I am saying is when these bad cops come out and show their true colors, y'all need to get rid of them. But what do they tend to do? The police department try to protect them, try to deflect, try to wait until everybody forget. Oh, oh, we, we, we're going to investigate it. We're not going to release the name of the cop. We're not going to release the, the, the body cam videos yet. Why not? The minute that these accusations comes out, the body cam footage should be dropped immediately. Why y'all hiding the footage? Why are you hiding the videos? That's what I'm talking about. That's what a good cop would... Okay, listen, man. This man just got accused of, of doing this, that, a third with a 15-year-old girl. Let me go ahead and release the name and, and, and the badge number of, of, of the damn cops and release the evidence and show the evidence that we have as of recent, which is the reasons why we are pursuing charges against this man. But no, what they want to do, they want to wait six months, damn near a year, three years later. Come on, man. Uh, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, sit for a cuz.